Hey, GGM boys and girls, so say Rojas here. Uh, we're here at Geek Girl Con 2011. Let's go inside and check it out. Kiri Callaghan, the press wrangler, our PR person at Geek Girl Con. Um, so Kiri, how's the con been going so far? Um, amazing. We are sold out completely. We were sold out at 11 today, so that's a little insane. Yeah. Our first year con. No kidding. It seems to be, it's well, it's packed in this room, and this is just the game room. Um, and I've seen tons of people outside, so you've, got, you've had quite the, quite the response, so. Yeah. <laughs> So what sort of, because um, you've, you've been everywhere, I've seen you running around all day, what's been your favorite part of the con? On, I honestly haven't seen a lot of it. Um, I've been running around doing things like making sure Chase Masterson's getting where she's supposed to be and making sure press knows where they're supposed to go. Um, honestly, I, I really loved the concert on Friday. That's probably one of my favorite parts, but um, just, the, just the general feeling, I suppose. I mean, we had, we had an impromptu concert in the courtyard earlier today. Yeah, I saw that. It was really fantastic and everyone was gathering around and just the general like playful feel of everybody who's here of like just this warm, welcoming I love it. Awesome. This is the first Geek Girl Con. What do you what do you think of it? Is it is it are geek girls being well represented? They're very well represented. I'm like really happy to see all like the girls out here, you know, showing off their geek pride and everything and I'm really happy that we finally have a con to go to where we're like Look, we're girls and we game too. It's not just the guys anymore. Right on. So, so you game. Um, plan on playing a new Star Wars: The Old Republic? My gosh, yes. <laughs> so excited for that. I am Felix Smuggler. Definitely is going to be the first one I'd character I do. Wouldn't have figured. <laughs> Shocking, isn't it? But I'm so looking forward to it. I can't wait till it comes out. And I haven't pre-ordered it yet because I have money. I don't have money right now. But right. when I get money, pre-ordering it. The idea is really positive of the con, and I've spoke I've spoke with uh, Erica, who's the president of the con, and the concepts are, are absolutely fantastic. And one of the things I'm really hoping this is going to do is show the industry that there are women fans, and that women fans are interested in these these ideals and what we're kind of looking for. Because when when we talk about it in our podcast, where, we, where people consider us to be the magical unicorn that we don't exist. There's like, geek girls don't exist, or there's only a few of them, and you know, who cares? And I'm like, look, this place is sold out. Um, we exist, you know, it's kind of our like, hey world, like guess what? And I mean, it's not entirely women, there's people like yourself and, and Brendan who works on our blog that are men who celebrate women as well, but even then it, it shows a, an even bigger thing where we do have male supporters, we have a, a huge female community, like we were in a couple of panels, and I've been to tons of Comic Cons and tons of cons, and I'm looking around, I'm like, wow, there is a lot of women in this room. Um, there's, you know, usually it's the other way around where you see a huge amount of men and spattering of women, but seeing these women kind of coming together and talking to each other and, and creating this forum is absolutely fantastic. So how'd you hear about Geek Girl Con? Um, I read it online. I mean, I kind of, I think probably a blog I was reading just kind of pointed it my way. I mean, I, I've been to some other conventions before, so I wanted to support kind of this new venture. Right on. What what uh, what kind of geek girl are you? Oh, absolutely everything. I mean, I'm I'm wearing my computer science shirt. I graduated from the UW, a uh, computer science major and digital arts major. Um, so I have that side of me, the coder side. I'm a gamer. Um, I love painting, and I watch a whole bunch of like sci-fi and fantasy. So I'm all over the board. Right on. So at this con, what's what's been your favorite part? Um, well, I really like the networking. Um, they have a few panels of people in industry coming in and talking about what it's like uh, being a girl, uh, either a gamer or just, you know, a computer engineer or something and, you know, how they got into the industry and maybe some of the struggles they've had to deal with just being a girl with a largely male environment. Right on. Have um, you personally experienced any sort of struggle being a geek girl in your life or? Um, it's just kind of, there's some things that are maybe mentioned in a, a more male environment that they just don't really realize could kind of make girls not really feel included or maybe um, kind of alienate you just a little bit. Um, or, you know, those, there's comments of, oh, you know, clearly you got into the major because you're a girl, not because you actually have skill coding. And, and I think that plays a lot into kind of girls not feeling welcomed. So 
This seems like a really welcoming environment here. Lots of lots of congoers. So, um, have you met a whole bunch of cool people? Or oh yeah, um, yeah. We just started a conversation about Dinotopia over there, <laughs> just because someone was like, "Man, I I wish they had you know some random thing out there like Dinotopia." And um, you know, just it's interesting to see uh, what comes out of the woodwork at a place like this.